Hello, 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 and welcome back to the channel. The name is Chev, also known as the Furious Chicken. And I'm so glad you're back because today we're going to talk about more advanced strats on how you can optimize your early game playstyle in Rising Star. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions on what they should do after level 5. You know, once they purchase those pizza boxes and pizza slices that I recommended for my previous video, well, Look no further because this is your answer. I um, In this video, we're going to talk about my personal strategy on how I grind when I was level 20 up until now. I'm, I'm level 34. So uh, let me show you that. There we go. So I have... I can say that uh, even though I am tw 14 levels higher uh, than level 20, I am still doing the same strategy. The only difference is that each of my gigs, my missions, are more efficient since I have more assets invested in the game that allows me to earn more from those instances that I do these gigs. Now, um, let's begin. First off, what I have to tell you is that as you progress through the levels, you will be able to unlock these missions. Now, you might be tempted to go to local gig circuit right away. Uh, which is actually a decent strategy, which we can talk about in another day. But I just want to let you know that if you unlock the second map, um, it's not that much much of a difference actually. Uh, it still it requires um, it has better star bit earning gigs, but it requires way higher level than what you only need when you're in the hometown. For example, you will be able to unlock everything in the hometown at level twenty, right? So the maximum fence that you only need to take advantage of everything this map has to offer is 300. All right, that's not that much of an investment. But if you go to the local gig circuit, uh, for example, the five-minute interview here, though more efficient than the illegal busking from the hometown, um, requires tw level 20 and 400 fence. All right, and um, the next one is. When level 20 requires level 25 and then 500 fans which i doubt you will get right away unless you got super lucky when you open the pack or you invested a ton of you know actual cash in the game to buy the cards that you need now this is a strategy for us mere mortals that cannot afford to put in tons of money but still wants to enjoy the game and earn by by playing it right and of course you know over the course of time, once you get to really see the potential in the game like I do, you can then invest some of the earnings that you earn, that you get from those gigs back to the game. So you can have a better gameplay than just playing vanilla, right? Um, here's what I do to take advantage of the first map to maximize my earning, um, balance my ego, and as well as maximize the time, actually. that Well, we only have 24 hours in a day, so... That's what we're gonna do. The first thing that I do is do a Saturday headline gig, right? Now this one is only um, available to you once you hit level 20 and you have 300 fans. That's why um, in my previous video about what stuff you have to buy, I highly recommend that you, that you get to around 300 fans, okay? If you haven't seen that video yet, I'm gonna link it in the description box below. But for now, I'm assuming that you have the information from that video that I made about the stuff that you have to buy to start the game, right? Saturday headline. All right, so this one needs 100% energy. Of course, it will take everything from your bar to do this once, and it requires three hours, right? So you won't be able to get that 1,400 star bits right away. But after three hours, there's a big boost of star bits in your earnings, though, you know, sometimes you can be unlucky and it will be closer to 350 than 1400 but that is what i do now what do i do next since all 100 percent of my energy will be depleted and i know for sure that this ego do you see this number here let me remove myself okay there we go this number here ego if you're not familiar yet i hope you are but just in case you're not um i mean i have a video for it but just in case you're not the quick overview is that the ego is a penalty your star bits earnings based on the number of your fans if your skill it can't cover it 
So basically, you have to have more skills than ego for you to ha not have any penalty. For example, as you can see here, my ego is at 0%. That is because uh, even though I have 11, uh, 1,189 ego uh, from fans and 961 from my missions, which totals it to 2,150, I have 2,178 skill, which is higher. Which means that my ego will always be at 0%. The bad thing about this is that, for example, you get 25% ego. That will, even though you get like a thousand star bits from your Saturday headline, you will take a 25% penalty. Alright, so it is best to keep in mind in the late game, especially after level 15 where ego becomes, um, uh, become, becomes a thing, that you balance your ego. Skill becomes more important than pens in the late game, right? Keep that in mind. If there's one thing that you want to take in this video, it is that e skill is more important than fans in the late game, right? Cool. At least that's what I know. I, I mean, late game when it comes to the first map, okay? Or maybe the second map. I'm not one of those whales that are already at seven, levels 50 or higher. So that could be another video once I hit that point. All right. Now, what I do I do next after the Saturday headline? Uh, what I do is um, I wait for a bit to do a music lesson. Now, let's talk about music lessons. Now, uh, once you're done with the Saturday headline, you will have around 35 to 36% energy. That's 100% for sure. I always do it and it always happened. You get around 36% energy. And music lessons, especially one of the first two basic singing lessons and guitar lessons, requires 40% energy, as you can see here, all right? That's up for an hour, only need level 10 for it, but it requires 40% energy. So based on my calculations, as well as other players uh, that I talk to, you need about five to six minutes uh, to get 1% energy. So after that 36% um, energy, when you, after you do the Saturday headline, you need to wait around 20 minutes to do a guitar lesson or a basic singing lesson because it regards 40% energy. Now, why do you need to do music lessons? Now, music lessons is uh, a specific kind of mission. It's not a gig, so it doesn't earn you star bits, but what it does is that it gives you skills, a permanent skills, okay? And a higher level, higher, uh, experience than a regular gig now why do i say that if you go to the hometown and for example you do saturday headline which would require three hours and 100 percent of your energy it only gives you 127 experience experience is important because the higher your level is the more gigs become available to you um if you do the music lesson the, the one hour music lesson that is available at level 10 you get 120 experience that's just a 7 xp difference so that means if you spam music lessons, you will earn tons of skills and level up faster, but um, you are trading your star bits earning for it. So it's totally up to you in your strategy if you want to spam for skill in the early game and then profit in the late game, or you want to just balance it. What I'm doing right now is the balance approach, okay? Now, usually when you do quests like this like the saturday headline for example um as you can see it will give me 10 ego once i finish this gig and the previous one that i did gave me nine ego right basically what happens is that as uh each time that you do one of these missions the ego that you get in each instance gets higher and higher and re it resets every 24 hours that's actually a, a really good design mechanic that allows that makes us to that forces us not to spam um, the quests, you know? You can do some other um, other quest to give you a variety. Now, the only way for you to efficiently offset this ego without paying money to buy cards that will give you the skills that you need uh, to, to offset the ego is by doing music lessons. Because music lessons gives free skill whenever you do one uh, now of course you would want now the next question is how can you increase the number of skills that you earn from this music lesson so that it can be more efficient 
Um, as you can see here, the basic singing lesson only gives 5 to 10 skill rewards, while my guitar lesson gives me 11 to 22. Even though they require the same number of fans, the same number of level, the same number of duration, and the same number of energy. Well, that is because I invested in musical instruments. If you buy musical instruments, uh, the luck that you get, the higher the luck of the musical instrument that you purchase will give you a bonus to your skill reward whenever you do the, the music lesson that corresponds to that particular instrument. Um, I have a few um, guitars. Um, I believe I have six commons and a rare. But let me let me just show you. So you have a you have an idea. Uh, here it is. So as you can see, uh, taking a bit to look. Okay, here it is. So I have four, I believe, string bass. Um, this is a common card. I purchased. I, I think I was able to snipe this super cheap, like 500 star bits each, when it's supposed to be around a thousand. But it's still cheap at around a thousand. I have this i6 mid range acoustic guitar, and I have a sitar. There we go. This is a rare card with 50 luck. Because I have those cards, my, mu my guitar music lessons is giving me more skills than. It normally would do if you do not have that so if there's anything that you would want to invest more in the early game i actually personally this is my personal opinion you don't have to agree with it but i personally recommend you investing in a specific lesson that you want to spam in the early game that way once you get to the higher levels and all you want to do is to just keep on earning star bits you have enough skill to offset those um those uh ego uh that the ego that you're getting the gigs now only two will be available to you at the beginning so i highly recommend choose one either you buy mics or you buy guitar right don't no need to like split it into two because you will only be doing one anyway. now once that is done so you do the music lesson right um it will give you around 11 percent yeah, around 11 percent 11 to 12 percent um energy so once you're done with the music lesson you will have 11 to 12 percent energy now just to maximize your use of uh, just to maximize your energy i highly recommend that you wait 15 more 10 to 15 minutes to do either an illegal busking which requires only 15 percent or the first mission here radio interview that's what i do so you can do that as well. I do radio interview because I have the local gig circuit available to me. But if that is not available to you, that's totally fine. You can just do the illegal bus. The, the two good thing about this, the reason why I do this is, is that one, I get to take advantage of all my energy before I replenish it with my pizza box or pizza slices. As you can see here, all of my pizza slices and pizza boxes are full. Um, this is not coincidence. Uh, yes, there's a chance involved, but um, this is a norm for me. I never run out of energy because of the cycle that I'm doing right now. Um, once I, I hit 0% energy, uh, after that illegal busking or, or the radio interview, I use one of my energy boosts first. Always use your energy boost first. Energy boost re uh, replenishes every 24 hours. Pizza boxes is a chance. A chance drop so always go for this one first now once that's done i go back to 100 percent energy i just re i just do the same strategy again 100 percent for the saturday headline music lesson to offset the um the ego that i got from the saturday headline and then do an either an illegal busking or a radio interview for the remaining 15 percent and do it again now, how am I able to get an unlimited number of energy because of this strategy? That is the question, right? Now, the strategy is that according to the Discord people that I talk to, each time that you do a gig, and this also applies to the music lessons because I personally was able to get pizza drops from music lessons multiple times. Each gig or lesson that you do has a 20% chance of dropping a pizza slice. 20%. So, if we're gonna go with the math, right? Math is, I mean, for this instance, it's probability. If 
but statistics is a thing so you always go to the side of the you always hope for the higher chances right uh the only thing that you can do is to help yourself get those uh, uh well, to help yourself maximize your potential of getting the chance of a drop now how do you do that well as what i mentioned earlier from that initial 100 percent uh we were able to do three gigs well three missions technically and each of those missions has a 20 percent chance for us to get for us to get the drop a uh, drop this is not an absolute math i am no mathematician but you know i'm just going with my instincts so uh, if you're a mathematician please feel free to let me know in the comment section below so you can correct my math all right thank you all right now uh i think collectively uh those three percent uh, three twenty percent chances should give you a 60 percent chance for a pizza drop i know this is not how actual math works but this is what i'm going with right now because i just want to maximize our chances right so if um you have one pizza box right you have or a one pizza slice you get to do the same thing over again and because you get to do the same thing over again uh you have six missions now and if each of those six missions give you a 20 percent chance to get a pizza drop you just multiply it by two uh, you got 120 percent chance now this is not absolute as what i mentioned please don't play me too much but based on my experience from those six missions i often get an additional pizza slice okay now because i got an additional pizza slice and i have a pizza box where i can store it i can then use it once i am done with the illegal busking or radio interview gig and was and hit zero percent energy and because that is another 100 percent energy for me i can do three more gigs which would add 60 percent again right so at this time um i have i guess an additional 80 percent chance to get another pizza slice uh, the math definitely doesn't work that way but it worked for me so far um there's a chance that you don't get another one that's fine that's the reason why we want the redundancy right um redundancy helps uh the probability of getting something uh especially when you know it comes to chances that's why i have two pizza slices here and three pizza boxes because there are instances where i always get uh pizza slices um i believe i have some of them here that i can show you for example there you go uh i was able to get one another one another one i was able to get where are the other ones and this one this one pizza 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 see four pizzas five pizzas so there are instances where i just get them over and over because you know whenever you keep on doing these gigs there's always a chance for a pizza to drop and pizza is essential because it allows you to keep on doing more gigs and rinse and repeat so that's what i do and it allows me to have an unlimited number of energy that i cannot just spend whenever right sometimes i don't even do this strategy anymore and just spam music lessons if i already have everything full like right now i mean right now i'm gonna do a bad uh, uh, i'm gonna do a saturday headline but technically you know i can do pretty much anything because i have this much pizza so that is my recommendation for today that's how i do my strategy and just to recap everything that i talk about because it's been almost 20 minutes what i do at the start of that 100 percent energy is do a saturday headline after that you will get 36 percent energy and then um you wait for a bit to do a music lesson for an hour after that you get 12 percent energy and wait for a bit to do a, either an illegal busking or a radio interview if you have the second uh, map open and then once you hit zero percent rinse and repeat do uh, use a pizza slice or a pizza box to get the 100 percent and do the same thing over again that way you will have uh, an efficient uh, an efficient strategy that allows you to maximize the chances of you getting another pizza drop which would allow you to keep on redoing the same thing over and over now the only limitation to this is that they're only 24 hours in a day so if we can stretch it to add more hours that would be awesome but <laughs> that is my strategy for today until i am uh, I until for some reason I I get the power to extend the, the the hours in a single day. This is the strategy that I want to share with you. If you have any questions about the high 
how I do my uh, my grinds or if you have any anything rising star related uh let me know in the comment section below if you haven't started playing rising star yet i highly recommend that you do so this is an awesome game that you can enjoy it doesn't require a lot of time but i see tons of potential when it comes to this game because jux uh, i believe jux is the creator he also used the atom collector name and has been awesome in the discord as well as you know hanging out sometimes in our streams so this game is cool with cool developers um, and I highly recommend it. Once again, the name is Chev, also known as the Furious Chicken, and I'll be back with another one real soon. Bye.